Yes, have your have your pastor or priest or imam here. <laughs> have them call in. We yeah. we've been dying to talk to them. They never call. Um, so yeah. Yeah, they say they can do better. They 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 represent to you that they can that your their faith is strong and they have good reasons for their their faith. I, I'm assuming yeah. they would say that. I don't know why they it, would say, "Well, I'm pretty I'm pretty flimsy on my faith, but you yeah. should listen to me." Have it a call. Could be, it could be the case that that uh, God just doesn't want to to be convincing today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, mysterious but, ways. Yeah, mysterious ways. Um, in the meantime, mm -hmm. uh, I, there, there, there's a guy I'd like to talk to in the mm. queue. Are you seeing this guy? Guys are cool. Yeah, let's do it. Can we talk to, let's see, a uh, guy in Georgia. How the yeah. heck are you doing? Hi, uh, yes, uh, my name is Guy, and uh, uh, I'm in Atlanta, and um, I was noticing that your last uh, caller was actually uh, talking about me, uh, mother, and uh uh, I'm a meteorologist now, so uh, there you go. And so I'm very, very much uh, uh, in tune with science. Uh, I'm also a Southern Baptist minister's son and okay. uh, grew up in, uh, oh, I have some stories I can tell you about uh, <laughs> 19, uh, being, being a Southern Baptist minister's son in uh Apartheid South Georgia back during the 1960s. Oh boy! But yeah. uh, uh, one reason why, well, the, the science is one reason why I'm becoming more and more an, an agnostic every day, more okay. that I read and study the Bible and study other literature and that sort of thing. But the one thing and you probably hear this over and over and over again is that um, uh, people who are just uh, are so disappointed that uh, the last thing they, they, they can't let go of, and, and it's one of the things that I have a hard time letting go of because all throughout my childhood and formative years, I was promised that uh, if I followed Christ, I would be going to heaven. Right. And um, the, coming to grips with that is probably my, my hardest uh, uh, thing to let go of. Uh, so, uh, very, is it, uh, the promise of heaven, uh, guy, or is it the end of life? Because, um, whenever heaven has been described to me, even as a kid, it just sounded like shit. Like I'm going to be up there and trust me, it's going to be great. Let me lay it out for you. You, you, you sing the praises of God all day. You know, you're no one's sick, no one's old. Well, that's good to not be sick. No one gets old, no one dies. Well, that sounds okay. You sing the praises of God every day, okay. And it lasts forever and ever and ever. Okay, well, what what can I do? Oh, you're just in bliss all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like the, right. the, it, the farm it, that the uh, dog went to upstate. You know, it just sounds too nice. So is it death or is it heaven it, that you're... I, I think it's a little bit of both. It's okay. both uh, the end of life or totality of life. Yeah. And uh, heaven. Well, um, but uh, to, to, to bring the, uh, let, let's do a little bit something a little bit different uh, here. Um, oh, what what? Uh, <laughs> well, well, maybe. We'll, we'll, well, let's we'll let's try, we'll let's try. see if we're gonna see if they're gonna do throw something. Us, <laughs> throw us a curveball, guy. <laughs> I'll let you go. We're ready. Hold on. Both feet on the ground. Hold on a second. All right. What? To spice up the conversation, are you there? Yeah, we're here. We ne I never left. Okay, okay spice I've up. Always been here. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, well, uh, uh, of course, I, 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 I don't agree with. Uh, uh, actually, I've, I've written a book on uh, um, uh, climatology for kids, but that's not today's subject. Mm. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very much agreement with. Uh, evolution and the fact that the universe is about 17 point, I think it's about 17.5 billion years old. Um, so now all that, all that time and all the time to come, which we actually think the universe is going to be uh, around for billions and billions of more years. Uh, what is the chance? Uh, what is the chance of you being, having only one life or being sentient? during all that particular time. Where you know what? 
Yeah, I, what are the odds? I don't have I, 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 Yeah, you pointed the odds. What, uh, well, mathematically. One? 100%. Uh, uh, here yeah, we are. One, <laughs> one, here we are. One in, uh, one in uh, let's see, one in, uh, let's see, well, if you, well, if you, if, you, if it's one in 100 billion, uh, here we are. And with, what are the, with one, what are the units on that guy? What are the Let units? Let me ask you this. <laughs> I, Let's see. What is it? Point? Is it point? Uh, let's see. A uh, hundred billion would be. Uh, how many zeros do we have here? Oh, hang on, hang on, guy. Because as, as much as I mean, I, I know that the, that the viewers <laughs> love love listening to people do math, but uh, yeah. I, there's something interesting going on here that I, I'd like yeah. to try to explore with you. Um, so, in your initial, uh, you know, the, the first part of the conversation, you're talking about heaven, and then you, you talked about how you 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 like science. And you uh, have, have done work writing a, a children's book about climatology. So when you were talking about the idea of, of losing heaven being a thing that, that kind of keeps you anchored to certain beliefs, I, I wanted to ask you this, a two-part question. One, to what extent do you care about whether or not your beliefs are, are true is the first, the first question. And I, the two-parter thing is this. If you encountered somebody who looked at the climate science and said, I, you know, the idea of of global warming is so alarming to me that I just I just can't bring myself to 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 believe it. I don't want that thing to be true. It is comforting to me to believe that global warming is not a thing. What would your response be to that? Well, we'd go through the uh, five steps of uh, uh, denial. Denial, and uh, oh, by the way. Um, I'm not saying that I still believe in heaven. No. Uh, I'm saying that I just, just, I'm just very, very disappointed that uh, that uh, that uh, there's no such thing in my opinion now. Sure. No, I don't think we're confusing that. I think I think yeah. the question is this. We're, we're, yeah, well, the question. Okay. Guy, 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 let me yeah, let me just bring us back. I think what Kenneth is going with is um, when we're talking about climate change, he's relating that back to the loss of the belief in heaven and dealing yeah. with that, because that's a, that's a real thing. A lot of people talk about that. Some people, it's the fear of burning in hell. Some people, it's the, the loss of this ultra billion dollar prize that they were promised since childhood and the, the feelings of betrayal and loss and grief over that. And some people like me have talked about this before. Johnny going to put a sad hat on, but it's like, oh, I, I like being alive. Can I have more of that? Yeah, but only a little more. How much more? Oh, you know, 50 more years. And then what? Totally you're dead. Uh, oh, I don't like that. I want to see what what new movies come out. I want to have more food from around the world. I want to meet aliens, but um, if they exist. But that's really the question. It's a matter of dealing with hard to accept truths. Yeah. And whether it's climate change because a lot of people would rather say oh it's not it's not real it's not real because it's so horrifying to imagine um or with the loss of heaven it's too painful to realize that i've been wrong i've been banking on this that uh i've been geared up for this i'm so excited i'm gonna see grandma again i'm gonna see you know you know grandpa floyd whatever um then but but you can't you can't just right. play that game of denial. You have to kind of zero in on the truth and learn to live with it, incorporate it into the true facts of your of your life. And that's a personal journey that all of us are on. And every one of us deals with it differently. Of course, we have uh, recovering from religion might be a place to go to for that because they deal with that issue. Uh, joining the community because I think every single one of us here who has once believed had to deal with um, with that loss and the loss of a family member that you'll never see again. Um, yeah. But you got to do it because you you can only juggle wishful, you know, favorable thoughts for so long before the balls fall down. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's this is why I always resort back to asking people about how much do they care about whether their beliefs are true. Cause I meet a lot of people who talk to me about how they, they sort of justify their beliefs by this appeal to what's comforting. And I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, but sometimes we have to just deal with things as they are. Um, and I can understand the appeal of holding onto a belief because it's, it's, uh, it's comforting, but I don't think that's a good reason to believe something. Yeah, no, I, um, I agree. But looks we, like, uh, we yeah, had, it looks like we we lost guy. We did. Uh, I feel like I'm seeing the in the queue. I think we might have a, a another a, a theist caller. Uh, 
you, line number 11? What do you, what do you think there? John? Yeah, let me, let me say this. Let me put the capstone on guy. Guy, I think that's, yeah. that's really what you got to do. You have to just face the truth front and center and surround yourself with people who are supportive, yeah. find people who are experts and then move forward on that. But guy, I want you to call back, um, telling us the strangest story about growing up with uh, a yeah. pastor in your family. <laughs> Just not today. We're going to want you to call back, though, because uh, I, I liked your tone. You had a, you had a good uh, demeanor. A friendly guy. Uh, a friendly guy. Yeah. yeah.